Alright. What's your name? Kung Wen. That was more than enough. And you moved here when you were how old? Nine. Uh, yeah, I consider Vietnam home. I do. Do you consider America home? Yeah, I would. Why? Uh, I feel like home isn't really necessarily the place you were born in, but the place where you kind of have like a lot of connections and like emotions to. It's been almost 10 years since I came here. My name is Jorge. I was born in San Salvador, the capital of El Salvador. And how old were you when you moved to the United States? I was 15 years old. Where did you move to? I moved to Northern Virginia, Manassas. It was August 2nd of 2010. Why do you remember that date so specifically? Yeah, it was it was very interesting because I came with a, this envelope and that's when I, was, I received my residency right then when I got to the airport. So my residency, my first, my first green card had that date on. Okay, gotcha. And what was that like for you, that move? Uh, it was very interesting. I know any English when I first moved here, so um, just follow people around and just, just kind of like just found my way through. Did or didn't know? Anybody? I did not know any English at all. Wow. Uh, my name is Saul Sandoval de Marquette. Um, originally, I was born in Mexico City. And do you consider that home? Uh, no. I moved uh, to Houston when I was around seven. Do you consider Houston home? Yes. So I consider Houston home more than anything because that's where I really had my infancy. That's where I grew up. Where I started gaining my morals, where I started gaining my friendships, where I started gaining those social connections, that social capital. But that's really where I have most of my memories. And it basically all branched out from Houston. I think my emotional basis is in Houston. It is what I know best. It is the community that I love the most. Home for me now exists within Houston. When I talk about home, that is what I will be referring to. At the end of the day, immigration is such a positive benefit for literally any country that holistically and net worth in terms of what immigrants contribute to the society, it's absolutely incredible and it's, it's amazing. And we fall into this trap where immigration is either good or it's bad and there's no other way around it. But if we want to fix this immigration problem, if we want to continue, if we want to better it, we're going to have to step outside of this bounds of just considering immigration good and bad and again it's having that conversation it's about talking and it's about breaking away from this trap that we have forced ourselves into great well bud i'm glad you're here thank you appreciate <laughs> it oh. Oh, home home home